Thank you for getting involved with Mason Youth Basketball as a timekeeper. This is an important role for players, referees, and fans. Accuracy and consistency is of the utmost importance. Arrive 15 minutes before the scheduled start of your first game. Always wear your yellow, your yellow timekeeper shirt. This makes it easy for referees, coaches, and Mason Community Center staff to identify and locate you. Know the duration for each period, halftime, overtime, timeouts, etc. These times can be different for some grade levels and skill levels. For example, some grade levels may have a running clock or the clock may not start till the team crosses half court in the final two minutes of the game. Rules will be provided in the folder at the score table and ask a referee or home coach if you are unsure. The controller will physically set up for you. If it is not or you ha are having problems, locate a Mason Community Center employee. Prepare a controller for an, a new game. On the number pad, press clear, seven, and then enter slash edit. Set warm up time. Ask referee how much time to put on the clock. Press set time, five, zero 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 enter slash edit this will set a time for five minutes important to remove all distractions mute phone ask non-officials to leave the score table make sure auto horn is on press auto horn then one to turn on Set game time. Time. Ask referee or home team coach if you don't know what the period time is. Press set time six zero zero zero. Enter slash edit. This will set time for six minutes. Game begins with the jump ball. Start clock when the ball is touched. Toggle switch. Clock start. Possession arrow points to the team that did not win the ball. Press possession. Alternate possession arrow ev after every jump ball and at start of every period. Be mindful to, to not alternate per possession till the ball has been inb inbounded. Stop clock anytime the referee blows their whistle. Toggle switch, stop. From dead ball, start clock when the official lowers their arm. Toggle switch, clock start. Adding points. For made free throws, press score plus one for the scoring team. For a made two point basket, press score plus two for the scoring team. For a made three point basket, press score plus three for the scoring team. Watch the referee for a single of a made three-point basket. When a foul is called, the referee will blow their whistle to stop play and report the foul to the score table. Press Team Foul Plus One for the team that committed the foul. Team fouls accumulate after half. When the coach wants to make a substitution, the player will report to the score table. Substitutions can only occur at dead ball situations. Press manual horn to sound the horn and notify the referees the substitution for the substitution. Team 
take time to reset files if necessary. Press enter slash edit, team files plus one, zero, enter slash edit. Check to make sure the appropriate time period is displayed. Press period plus one. Check the team score to make sure your score matches theirs. Example, to adjust home team score to 20, press enter slash edit home score plus one to zero, enter slash edit. At the end of the game, prepare the controller for the next game.